Hello everyone and welcome back to Kindred Spirits on the Roof. Thank you for joining me today. Last time we discovered uh, a new sort of romance bubbling up in the school within the broadcasting club composed of three girls. There's one girl who likes another one but we don't know who either of those girls are. I placed my bets on who I think they are and we'll see, we'll see what happens. We also got inside Megumi's head a bit, which was cool. I like her a bit more as a character, so it's fun getting to know a bit more about her and her personality. And now we're back to Yuna and we're continuing on and we're just here at home cooking dinner for Hina because our moms are out nursing. So let's get into it. Want some more rice, Hina? Mm, yeah, and a little more meat. What? I was saving the rest for my dad so you could take some home. I'll have that part then. No, here, you can have the rest of mine. Yay, thanks, Yunane. Yeah, she, you know, you, when you're an athlete, you gotta eat. You're, you gotta get your protein and your carbs, and you eat a lot. Both my parents and Hina's parents work, and our moms are both nurses. Hina comes over to our house to eat wherever, whenever they have night shifts together roughly two or three times a week. So I have a confession to, to make. Um, this is supposed to be a blind playthrough, and up to this point it has been, but I did have some recording issues recording this day, or not this day, because this is the end of another day, but this part that I'm recording now, I had already recorded once before, and I had gotten the file corrupted or something, so I've actually already gone through this part of the game, which sucks because I had a lot of cool improv commentary, I thought. So you guys will just have to bear with me on this one. I'm, I'm sorry if it sounds stale. But you know, what are you gonna do? Technology, man. Wouldn't that mess up the balance then? Well, not that I mind. Yeah, so they're talking about the lunches and Hina's sharing her lunch with everyone because Yuna is such a good cook. Which is impressive. I wish I cared about cooking when I was a teenager. I just ate crap all day. Huh? Well, I've got ingredients already. Can I make a request? Yeah, sure. I might not be able to make it, though. That's fine. Um... Today's lunch was Japanese-ish, right? So could you make something Western tomorrow? <laughs> That's a pretty, uh, pretty vague description. If someone came to me and was like, can you cook me something Western? I'd be like, I don't know what that means. Like, that encompasses so many different kinds of foods. Hmm, I'm happy about that, but it's kind of embarrassing. I suppose I can't let her down, though. I'll make sandwiches, then. Hmm... Oh, she doesn't seem satisfied. You don't want sandwiches? Can't anybody make sandwiches? That doesn't really prove you're good at Western food. I'll make them with baguettes then. Mmm. With a bunch of different ingredients. It, it might be a lot, but you can share them with people or eat a little after school too. Mmm, okay. Thanks, Yunane. So, something that I do want to talk about is I assume Yuna gets a romance subplot. Uh, I assume that's gonna happen at some point, and I'm guessing that the characters they we, we, we might get a chance to pair her up with are gonna be Hina and Anno. And at this point, I don't really care for either of them, mostly because I just don't know what they're like as characters yet because we haven't really gotten a lot of info with them so I, I just hope we get to learn more about them before before that happens or as we see the romance so the romance for Yuna happen um, I assume that's happen that's gonna happen Yuna might have a totally different kind of subplot I know we're gonna Yuna's already like spilt said some stuff that makes like raises a question in my mind so I, I don't know exactly how involved they're gonna put her part of the story in with this, but we'll, we'll see. I don't know if that makes any sense, but uh, hey, Hina, do you know a girl named Maki-san in your year? Maki-san, Maki-sena? Yeah, her. I know her. She's in my class. I sit next to her. Huh? Really? 
Hmm. I'm kind of surprised. Well, it's a small world, I guess. Are you friends? We say hi and stuff. Why? Do you know Maki-san, Yunine? Oh, no, not really. I just heard her name somewhere, so I was wondering if you knew her. I see. Hmm. Thanks for dinner. You're welcome. Yeah, because I feel like that scene last in the last video with Anna, with Anno and Yuna kind of set up a, a potential romance. And then here with Hina, I feel like we have a very similar dynamic going on. So I'm, I'm curious to see, see where it goes, if anywhere. Man, I want baguette sandwiches. Those sound bomb. I'm hungry. It's dinner time. I reviewed today's classes, prepared for tomorrow's, and finished my homework. Some parts aren't due for a while, so I left some of those for later. Really? 10 p.m.? That's pretty impressive to make dinner, eat dinner, do all your homework the next day, and it's only 10 o'clock? Yuna's a star pupil here. It was already late when I glanced over at the clock. I prepared everything I'll need for lunch and dinner. Roast beef on baguettes may have been a bit much, but that seems pretty standard. It's a bit much, but it's standard. See, you're such an overachiever, Yuna. That's why you like want to want to be so proactive with helping these with helping Sachi and Megumi. You're just an overachiever and possibly codependent. I'll have enough time if I start preparing them right when I get up. Though I bet mom will laugh at me for using the oven first thing in the morning. I lean back in my chair. I should get my thoughts together. I like to sit, my, sit at my desk and think before going to bed. This is my habit when I have a lot of things to consider. Each of them in order. From what Megumi said today, they're always together, and it isn't obvious who might like who. If that's the case, she might have to stick close to them for a while before we can tell. And then there's what Megumi said about Sachi-san being able to tell, and how Sachi-san can't seem to enter the Hoshikan building. In which case, the three of them need to go out to the inner building for Sachi-san to check them out. Should I ask them there for something? Like an interview, since they're in the broadcasting club? The third year students' classrooms are in the inner building. Should I get one of them to call them over? Though I don't know anyone I could ask to do that. Hina has some third year upperclassmen, but I couldn't get her involved in this. And until I have a good idea, I'll just have to rely on chance. The problem is the two of them, or mainly Aihara Senpai, are always busy. They're so busy that they have no time to relax and talk to each other. Because of that, they'll never move forward from their current friendship. But I don't know of any place like that. I'll have to start by looking for one. We'd have to make sure they're actually usable. And once we find one, then we have to tell them about it? How? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's a little too on the nose and obvious.
ことじゃない In any case, Maki san and I, Hara senpai, two of the broadcasting club trio, and those two ghosts. I had no idea there were so many people around me in girl girl romances. That's actually kind of a nice sentiment. The idea that it's not that、uh, queer people or gay people or people of different sexualities don't exist in great numbers. It's just the fact that most people are too naive of it. Which is understandable and a sympathetic position to be in to a degree, but that was a nice sentiment that this game just put out there. Very, very much appreciated, kindred spirits. Are there normally this many? Is it because we're an all girls school? What I'd said to her then wasn't a lie. I was caught off guard since I hadn't given it any thought. But I didn't think they were stupid, and I didn't think it was creepy. I just thought, so that happens too. That's a thing. I mean, Maki san, that first year, and the flash of her face I saw after she delivered her letter. <laughs> The only reason I wasn't sure was probably because I've never been in love myself, and not just with another girl, of course. And what I'm doing now. When I thought about it again. Finding out who likes who and helping them get together? I never imagined I'd be involved in something like this, doing all these things for other people. I'm already doing all this thinking about it, trying to figure out how to make it all work out and what I should do. This is. I hung my head for a moment. The drawer of my desk came into view. It was locked shut. All of the sudden, my head cleared. So that's a little inter another interesting thing that just got slipped in there. What's in the drawer? Why is it locked? Why is Yuna's head cleared now? I don't know, but I hope we find out. That's a Chekhov's gun if I've ever seen one. Calm down, don't panic, take it slow. I'll have to do it that way. Okay, so now that was the 17th, so we're gonna go to the 18th, and you can see here I unlocked the 21st, but I haven't played past it, and I wish my recording didn't mess up. But let us move on to tomorrow. Morning, Anno. Forget anything today? Yep. Seriously, why do you sound so proud of yourself? It really makes me wonder if some kind of condition is causing her to be this forgetful. No matter what, she'll forget one thing or another every day like clockwork. You could set your alarm to it. Her talent for forgetting things was actually what brought us together. It was on a day not long after we started here when we were in the same class during our first year. Ayano had forgotten every single textbook and material she needed for classes that day, and had asked if she could see mine since I sat next to her. First period, I thought it was pretty normal. Second period, I thought, well, this happens sometimes. By third period, I was too dumbfounded to say anything. After fourth period, I just silently moved my desk over to her. And to top it all off, When I asked her after school if she thought it was, different, it was a different day of the week or something, Anno's answer had been, I just forgot all the textbooks I'd been planning on bringing today. Ugh, that's not possible. Wouldn't that mean you didn't have any textbooks in your bag at all? Wouldn't you notice that? 
When I grilled Anna like that, she said, <laughs> Mission accomplished. And stuck out her thumb. In that instant, I realized, yeah, she really did forget them all. She forgot all sorts of things after that, relying on me instead. It was a while before I realized, it's not going to happen. I wanted to avoid getting close to anyone, but with Anno, that wasn't going to be an option. Yeah, because you felt obliged to help her? So in your personality, you know, to help people. I was forced to admit that eventually. One day, she hadn't forgotten anything. She had her textbooks, her notebooks, her homework, her phone, her notepad, her lunch, her wallet, her train pass, her handkerchief, pads, and all sorts of other stuff. Even the book she'd promised to lend me. And her bag, of course. I thought, wow, so there are days like this too, huh? That was the first day since I'd met Anna that I hadn't heard the word forgot. And after spending the day in relative peace, I realized just before fifth period on that day on which we just happened to have gym class, that she'd forgotten to wear a bra. How could you forget that when you've got those two huge things on you? Flustered, I suggested Anna sit out of gym that day. And forgetting things doesn't surprise me anymore. That's just what she's like. I don't know, forgetting a bra is pretty big. Like, I don't, I don't know. Especially if your boobs are big. It just, it's painful to not have any support there. But, you know, who am I to judge? Ah, uh, yes, talking about the study session. So her, he, so Hina, Yuna, and Ano are gonna all study together later. That'd be sweet. Get some, get some, you know, some study time. Hopefully get to learn a little more about Anno besides the fact that she's forgetful. And learn a little more about Hina besides the fact that she likes meat and Yuna's cooking and running. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to study sessions. Anno actually has a pretty big social circle as it turns out. I thought she might know her, but I guess not. Ah yes, if she knew Maki, right? Who is she? Somebody you know, Yuna? Oh, um, I guess she sits next to Hina. Ah, well, I don't know her, but I did run into the Broadcasting Club trio this morning on the train. Huh? Yeah? They were all together again this morning. Those three are like a real comedy troupe. That's a little rude, isn't it? I get what you mean, though. Oh, you're acting kind of cold. Nana's a friend of mine, so I was thinking I could introduce you if you want. Though I guess it's kind of weird to introduce someone you were in the same class with last year. Huh. Uh, hmm. What should I do? I'm not sure that introducing myself to them will help, and it might be even harder to hide my actions if we become close. No, that's fine. Yeah? I thought you'd be interested since you were asking about them the other day. Mm, well, I was a little interested then, but it's fine now. Thanks. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. You don't need to thank me. I've just never heard you ask me about somebody else like that before, Yuna. I guess I got ahead of my spell self. Spun my wheels a bit. Sorry for making you spin your wheels. It wasn't the first time, though, was it? How antisocial do you think I am? Oh, Yuna, you eat lunch on top of the roof alone for every day since you've been in high school. You're pretty antisocial, I'd say. Am I that bad? I guess I might be. And it was the first time you were asking me for something, so... Really? I guess I was pretty touched, you know? Now I feel bad. Don't worry about it. Your sins will wash away if you let me see your textbook in third period. I thought you'd already taken care of it today. I didn't say I'd only forgotten one thing. All right, all right, I'll share it. Yay, I love you, Yuna. F F Anno seems nice. Like, she, she definitely has uh, Yuna's best interest in mind, I think. Uh, lunch break. I took my lunch up to the roof like I always did. But strangely, only Sachi-san awaited me today. Oh, Sachi-san, oh, is Megumi not with you? Hello, Yuna-san. I've asked Megumi to keep an eye on the broadcasting club today. Oh, dude, Megumi's not gonna like that uh, you're talking to Yuna alone. She She's very protective of you, Sachi. 
Oh, sorry, my phone's ringing. I extracted my intrusive phone from my pocket. Ah, it's a text. From my mom. Someone needed to skip work tonight or short on short notice so she'd be covering part of their night shift. In other words, she was telling me she'd be home late. I skimmed over the text and slid the app closed with my finger. What's that? It isn't a cell phone. Whoa, Sachi-san's nearly leaning over my shoulder. Hasn't she seen a phone before? It, it is a cell phone. Oh, cell phone's short for sell your telephone. It's... There were, like, regular phones when Sachi was alive, right? Oh, even I know what a cell phone is. Everyone has one these days. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, these two have only been... Sachi-san's only been, like, observing students for how many years now on this roof? I'm sure she knows what a phone is. Ah, oh, that's because this is a smartphone. Smartphone? As opposed to a dumb phone. You know. You use it like this instead of with buttons. Yes, it's so smart it doesn't need buttons. You just touch it. I slid my finger across the screen, showing off a few different apps. Now, does Sachi know what an app is? I'm just, I'm just asking the questions here. Wow! Whoa, her eyes went wide as saucers. What, what's happening? You're making it work just by touching it, Unison? Er, what is happening? Cell phones these days sure are something. Could you show me more of it later? Yes, because you know what else you could do with a smartphone? Just saying, you really want to know how two girls do it. The internet has tons of answers for you on that one. I guess Sachi-san's interested in stuff like this. Megumi knows a little more about these things. She likes to look at magazines and such when students read them in their classrooms. Is that so? Ghosts are even stealing glances at our magazines, huh? Well, anyway. This time I really started eating lunch. The sandwiches Hina requested. Oh, well, that's kind of interesting. She doesn't say, my lunch, or the baguettes with roast beef. It still sounds super good right now. She, she refers to them as the sandwiches Hina requested. That's kind of cute. I'm just saying, that's like set up there. Next to me, Sachi-san reported on the investigation. Maki-chan really is cute. Sachi-san observed Maki-san yesterday, apparently. Maki-chan was on her own yesterday. It seems Ihara-san had to leave early. What do you think she did? I wonder. I didn't think she'd have any reason to be at school if Ihara-senpai wasn't there. Maki-san suddenly started walking all around the school. Huh, that's unusual. It was like she was looking for something. Do you know what it, it was? It seems she came to the same conclusion as you, Yuna-san. She wants to find somewhere where she and Miki-san can talk together. The same conclusion? That's right, she was looking for a secret place for the two of them. Ah. She was like a little kitten exploring every corner. I was having fun just following her around. Being a stalker is what you're being, Sachi. Her eyes were sparkling everywhere she went, looking at the buildings. Maki-chan really is cute. Seriously, Megumi shouldn't be worried about Yuna stealing Sachi. She should be worried about Maki stealing Sachi, or Sachi, because Sachi seems totally... Sachi's like, ah, oh, she's super cute, you know? She's working so hard for the girl she likes. I'd like for their relationship to work out. I'd like their love to grow. Right. Mm, well, I don't really know what this love thing is about, but I guess I'm hopeful for them, at least a little. So Maki-san's looking for a place like that, too. That's convenient, then, isn't it? Last night, I was struggling to think of a way to let Maki-san know if we did end up finding somewhere for her. But if she's doing some searching of her own, then our goals coincide, even if our motives don't. We might be able to guide her there. She's been checking rooms during her breaks today, too. I'm sure she wants nothing more than to find somewhere they can be alone together. I'd like to find somewhere nice for them, but I wonder if Maki-chan will find somewhere first. About that... Huh? I have a few ideas about places that might work as well. My, really? We'll have to check them out to make sure, though. That's wonderful, Unison. Where are they? In the inner building. Really? 
Would you like to go with me after school then? With Sachi-san? What should I do? I don't think she'll get in the way or anything, but... There's something I've been wondering about, Sachi-san. Are you just worried that Megumi is gonna f is gonna have your head and curse you <laughs> because you're spending more time with Sachi and you're not telling her? I'm just saying. Call him like I see him. Um, Sachi-san. Yes. You can well read people's minds, right? Yes. So like. How much can you tell about someone? It's been bothering me for a while. Are we all just open books to her? I want to know how much she can tell about me. Well, I haven't really explained it to you yet, have I, Yuna-san? I'm sorry for scaring you, but don't worry. I can't do anything that remarkable. So she says, but that's not entirely reassuring. All I can tell is what someone is feeling strongly, and I have to be right next to them to determine that. Really, it's more emotions than thoughts. It's not so much what people are thinking, but what they're feeling. And it doesn't work when there are many people nearby. The feelings get twisted together and hidden among the others. I could probably only tell between two people at most. If I want to know what they're feeling in more detail, it's possible by touching them. But that's not very polite, wouldn't you say? See, it's not very remarkable, is it? You think? That still sounds pretty amazing. So ghosts can even do things like that too. But according to Sachi-san, she can only read feelings, not thoughts. In which case memories are probably a no-go. What are you hiding, Yuna? You are so hiding something and I don't... And I want to know what it is. Megumi thinks it's amazing, but this is really all I can do, Sachi-san said with a little smile. Ah, cool. Yeah, so I want to know what Yuna's hiding, because Yuna's obviously got something that she's not telling us, which is fine. You gotta build up, you gotta throw the little pieces in to build up the suspense and the mystery. But I'm definitely, like, really quite interested in, in learning more about her, as well as Megumi and Sachi and their past and history because histories because I, so far the the, the three are the most interesting. Probably because we've spent the most time with the three of them. Really weird ideas. I left the building without even responding to her, finding it entirely too ridiculous. Finally, in the inner building hallway, we found Ihara Senpai and Maki-san. The two of them were pinning up new bulletins to the school notice boards. Maki-san held the stack of papers while Ihara-senpai tacked them onto the boards. They were chatting happily about something as they worked. As I watched them, a teacher passed by and said something to Ihara-senpai. It looked like she was asking for some sort of favor. Maki-san seemed a little anxious when Ihara-senpai smiled and wrote out a little note for herself. But. Ihara-senpai really is as amazing as I've heard. I've never seen someone attract favor so naturally before. Looking at Ihara-senpai like that, I... I wonder what it was like for me back then. No, I shouldn't think about that anymore. But Ihara-senpai looks like she's having a lot of fun. Not many people are all smiles as they receive more work. Watching it, I... Are you jealous of Miki-san? She read my mind? No, I didn't. I just looked at your eyes. Sachi-san laughed as I hid my face. That's not true. Really? I was wrong? I'm sorry about that. No, it's fine. Sachi-san may have been right on the money. Even though I said she was wrong, I'd still been worried she heard my thoughts. Does that mean I was really thinking it? I don't know. What was I thinking about, Ihara-senpai? That I was jealous? But why? Why would I think that? What would make me? My thoughts were scattered all over. Yes, that is what I want to know, Yuna. What is going through that head of yours? Because you do have like these weird thoughts that come in and out. And I want, I want more. I want to know. Was she being considerate of me? But that helped. I wanted to leave there as soon as possible. After all, I wonder if Sachi-san picked up on that. Sachi-san seems more grown up than me. 
Is it because she was a third year? Or because she's been a ghost all this time? I didn't know, but I followed her down the hallway. On the second floor, we eventually arrived at the classroom farthest from the stairs. It's called a reference room in name only. Its true usage is basically for storage. Here? Yes. Ah, this place. So, this is back where Maki and had her first, like, oh my god, I'm in love moment with Ihara Senpai. So, this actually has some emotional resonance if they use this room. You know, I was thinking of the inner part of this room, though it was looking like it'd been pretty difficult. It'd be pretty difficult just to get back there. At least for those of us whose bodies get coated in dust since we can't pass right through the walls and shelves. Well, if we move some of this stuff... Whoa. <laughs> dust whirled up and got into my lungs. Urgh, I feel gross. But I put up with it and kept moving the things aside. Man, there's no way when I was in high school that I or any student would have access to any room like this. Like, I don't know if this is a cultural thing or just happened to be the kind of school I went to but it's like students we were not trusted to be unsupervised or trusted with any extreme amounts of responsibility at all you would get so much trouble if you wandered into a room like this and got caught it's just yeah and I don't know maybe it's a fabrication of the game and maybe in Japan it's not really something you see but just to have uh yuna and in the future miki and maki or uh yes ihara senpai and maki in the future possibly use this room it just it wouldn't have been plausible i just i couldn't imagine which makes me kind of sad i i wish when i was in school students were trusted more it just feels like such a shame to be taught to be treated like delinquents more or less like you you couldn't even go to certain parts of campus during lunch they were just blocked off by security officers or faculty so there was never any secret place to go and like hide and get away it sucked Something just barely small enough to fit was leaning upright, a rectangular shape covered in torn fabric with wooden protrusions on the bottom. Legs? Meaning? Is that a couch? Oh, it seems so. Sachi-san easily passed through as usual and, uh, and checked. No, seriously, this is too perfect and it's like just big enough for the space. Whoa, we're lucky, but... It would be like a secret hideout with this couch here, wouldn't it? A place hidden away where they can sit and chat. It's just what Maki-chan wants. Right. I bet she'd like it. If it were a little cleaner, at least. I'm not sure she'll notice it if it's this hard to get back here. Yeah, we've got to make the passageway a little easier to get through. But it still needs to be difficult to see from the doors. And if cleaned up a little, the space back here would be a bit bigger. It'd be good if there was enough room to stretch out a little on the couch. Stretch out a little on the couch. Whatever that means. We probably can't clean it up too much, though. Say, Unison, shall we set the couch down? I don't think so. We have to make it so that Maki-san thinks she found it herself. If the couch was already set up, she might think someone else was using the space. Ah, I see. Good point. Sachi-san nodded to herself. We'll still have to do a little organizing and cleaning. It'd be too obvious to do it all at once, so little by little. If I do about two hours of cleaning at a time, I might be able to get it done in three or four sessions. Jeez, Yuna, that's a commitment. That is like a commitment for these girls. I just, I just gotta admire your proactivity. I don't know if I said this before in a previous video, but I think when you're writing a character, Proactivity is like a really attractive quality and I love how Yuna's got like real proactivity in this story because it just it makes her fun and engaging and you want to root for her 
But seriously, that's a commitment. You're gonna dedicate like eight hours <laughs> to cleaning this place just so these girls can have some time alone? Damn, Yuna, and you say you're not having fun. Sachi-san grinned. Ah! A sudden noise rang out. An old worn-out mop had gone toppling over behind me. I can call her inside like this. That was you, Sachi-san? Yes, it seems I can do a few things like a poltergeist. I can guide Maki-chan here like that. Ghosts have some tricks up their sleeves, huh? That's right. The person smiling proudly in front of me really is a ghost. Yep. Sometimes it's hard to forget. Or hard to remember. Yes, not hard to forget, hard to remember. Having succeeded in our search for a secret spot, we didn't need to check the other places I was thinking of. Our work was done for the day. On our way back from the reference room, which was really a storage room and was about to become a hideout, we ran into Ihara Senpai and Maki-san again, still at work. This time, it looked like they were retrieving forgotten umbrellas. They took the umbrellas out of the stands, put tags on them according to where they were found, and bound them into one big spiky bundle. They're still hard at work. Yeah. It must be tough. I bet. No, not their work. I was thinking their relationship might take a lot of work. It must be tough for her. Her? Not them? Yes. Which one do you think has it rough, Unison? Huh? So, since I already played through this, when I played through it the first time, I chose Maki-san. And because of that, I'm going to choose Ihara Senpai because I really want to know. Because I get the feeling from when I chose Maki-san that uh, Sachi might... Sachi-san might... Uh, empathize more with Ihara Senpai, and I'm gonna test that theory out right now. So we're gonna we're gonna choose Ihara Senpai has it tough because haven't we all been in that position where we have to deal with people's unwanted feelings? Yeah, it's it's a lot of pressure. It's not easy. Ihara Senpai, I suppose. Oh, why do you think that? Because Ihara Senpai still thinks of Maki-san as a friend, right? She probably worries about what will happen if she does start thinking of Maki-san as more than that. And if she doesn't, then she might worry about not being able to answer her feelings. You may be right, but worrying for the sake of someone you love can be nice. I'm sure Miki-san will think long and hard about Maki-chan. And I'm sure she'll face Maki-chan, no matter what her answer will be. Miki-san may not be very strong, but I think she'll be able to get close to Maki-chan and embrace her for who she is. Really? So Aihara-senpai doesn't look strong to Sachi-san? She looks strong to me. Not a forceful strength, but a patient one. I'd like them to have a nice romance, no matter what it leads to. I want things to go well for everyone, of course. That's why we're helping like this. But I wouldn't want to change whatever answers they come to. They're answers they'll arrive at after thinking long and hard about the other person, after all. <laughs> well, Unison, let's head back. Right. I walked beside Sachi-san. The sun was setting now, the sky outside alight with a bright red. Ghost or not, the light of the evening sun dyed Sachi-san's hair and skin with a crimson tint. I hear exams are coming up. Yeah, I won't have time to stay after school the week before them. It might be harder to help you. Ah, oh, are you are you a little sad, you know, that you won't get to help them? Because you, you get a little break. But I don't think you want a break. I think you really enjoy, secretly enjoy this. <laughs> yes, I know. That's all right. Everyone will be focused solely on their studies after all. You should study hard as well, Unison. As a student, you mustn't neglect your work. Right. Sachi-san really seems mature sometimes. Yes, no, Sachi is very, very mature. It's nice. It's good. That, that's why her and Megumi, like, complement each other so well, I assume. All right, uh, this is a bit shorter than usual, but I really don't want to get into the next day in this video. So apologies for the shorter, uh, for the shorter video. 
Um, but next time we will jump to May 21st and see what happens then. I'll talk to you all in the next one. See ya. Take care.